afternoon. Welcome to our live. We are extremely excited to share this creative workshop with you today. You will need a candle. You will need some carving tools. So if you don't have carving tools, you can use a kebab stick, you can use a fork, you can use a screwdriver, anything that's sharp and that can't hurt you can be used. And you need some choco stencils. So what we are going to make before I continue is I'm going to share ideas with you on how to repurpose and reuse old candles. We are going to show how to do beautiful carving out of candles and use charcoal paint to just accentuate the crevices and detail that you will create on the candles. So there's an example. You will absolutely use colors that fit and match with your decorations and color schemes in your own house. And there's another inspiration, more of a French antique vintage look and feel. And this is how you do it. So I'm going to use my stencil, wrap it around my candle, and then you can either decide to hold it like that, or you can secure your stencil with some masking tape. I'm going to use masking tape just to make sure it doesn't move. When I reach the area where the stencil overlaps, I will just loosen the masking tape to make sure I do it properly. You can also, of course, if you want to use a smaller stencil, this is creativity, there aren't any rules. So my stencil has got nice shapes, nothing is standing up, so it's something that actually fits nicely on the curve of the candle. I will use various tools to show how it's done. So I simply, I want to outline this geometrical um, shape of the stencil. So I will simply just use this and start carving. I have used various tools and the fork really works well and easy. So all I'm doing is I'm outlining the detail of this geometric pattern. It will also depend on the pattern of the stencil you'll use, how much detail you want to carve out and how much you want the, um, how much detail you want actually to show on your candle. I have made use of a brush, just a dry, clean paint brush to just remove all the lo loose pieces of wax sitting on my candle so that I can see nicely where I have carved and where extra carving work is needed. I have a candle that's already completed and it's over here. So all the carving work has been done and now to accentuate all those crevices and grooves I'm going to show you what can be done. I'll be using an artist brush and a dry piece of cloth. That, this can be anything that you have that's dry and soft to touch. I'm going to stick my dry artist brush in cloud white and now I'm going to paint small sections and what I'm trying to do is I want to reach within those crevices and grooves to make sure the paint sits on the inside where the carving was done. I'm going to work in small areas so that before the paint actually dries, I can rub away with my dry cloth. So I just wipe and in those crevices and grooves, the white will remain and there will be a slight change of color on the candle. My 
My candle is complete. The carving process does take time, but it's actually very therapeutic. Some last um, technique that I do want to share is if you want to change, for instance, the color or incorporate a different color, the dry brush technique can be used. So I'm using a clean, dry paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in cloud white. Remember, you use colors that you like and that matches your decor style. So I dipped the tip of my brush in paint, in chocolate paint. I remove any excess paint on my cloth. I just want to make sure I just add a little bit more. So the technique is called dry brush technique because you are not going to paint. You are actually going to brush very little paint onto your painted surface just to create a subtle, almost like a sanded look. My dry brushing is complete and these candles has received a complete makeover. This is a lovely um, birthday party workshop idea. It's a lovely way of giving someone a very personalized gift. And it's also a lovely way of upcycling all candles in your own house. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you are inspired. And I hope that your light will shine in this week to come. We will be back next week with something creative up our sleeves. Until then, stay creative. Continue to inspire us on our Facebook pages and be blessed. Bye-bye.